Thomas McDonough executed Kilmainham Jail, 3rd of May 1916. Extract from statement written by Thomas McDonough in Kilmainham Jail, 2nd or 3rd of May 1916. Yesterday at my court-martial in rebutting some trifling evidence, I made a statement as to my negotiations for surrender with General Lowe. On hearing it read after, it struck me that it might sound like an appeal. It was not such. I made no appeal, no recantation, no apology for my acts. In what I said, I merely claimed that I acted honourably and thoroughly in all that I had set myself to do. My enemies have, in return, treated me in an unworthy manner. But that can pass. It is a great and glorious thing to die for Ireland, and I can well forget all petty annoyances in the splendour of this. When my son Don was born, I thought that to him and not to me would this be given. God has been kinder to me than I hoped. My son will have a great name. To my son Don, my darling little boy, remember me kindly. Remember my hope and purpose with my deed. For your sake and for the sake of your beloved mother and sister, I would wish to live long, but you will recognise the thing I have done and see this as a consequence. I think still I have done a great thing for Ireland and, with the defeat of her army, won the first step of her freedom. God bless you, my son. My darling daughter, Barbara, God bless you. I loved you more than ever a child has been loved. My dearest love, Muriel, thank you a million times for all that you have been to me. I have only one trouble in leaving life leaving you so. Be brave, darling. God will assist and bless you. Goodbye. Kiss my darlings for me. I send you the few things I have saved out of this war. Goodbye, my love, till we meet again in heaven. I have a sure faith of our union there. I kiss this paper that goes to you. I have just heard that they have not been able to reach you. Perhaps it is better so. Yet Father Aloysius is going to make another effort to do something. God help and sustain you, my love. But for your suffering, this would be all joy and glory. Goodbye, your loving husband, Thomas McDonough. I return the darling's photographs. Goodbye, my love.